All right, so today is a new day. So everything's primed and everything looks as good as I kind of anticipated. However, inevitably, there are some spots where I've got some runs. And for how big this bus is, and for never doing this before with the paint sprayer and not thinning out the Rust-Oleum paint primer, I'm pretty happy with how the majority of this came out. So I'm just gonna try to sand off a couple of those spots. Like I said, I'm not going for a RV, high quality, super classy paint job. What I'm saying is I want, ten, I want a 10 foot paint job. Basically from here, you're not gonna see a whole lot of blemishes but I think a 10 foot paint job is realistically a, a, an efficient way to paint the bus and a good use of time. I mean, I didn't pull any dents. I just kind of beefed this stuff out earlier. So there's blemishes all over this bus and I just don't want this thing to be yellow anymore. Wow, this stuff is hefty. Like, that's some solid primer. Cool. I'm gonna try to, I'm not too worried about these, these runs. You can't really tell what you're seeing is the shadow. I'm gonna try to sand them out a little bit and then I'm happy with the prime job. Today's project is to do the black paint. It's 3.30 in the afternoon. I'm trying to get everything painted by 5.30. So I'm gonna try to sand up all this stuff that's, that's not so pretty and then start the black paint. And uh, that way tomorrow we can do the color that we're gonna do that I'm pretty stoked about. Emily didn't want to do this color in the beginning and then we compromised. The original conversation was she does the inside and I do the outside. I've gotten compliments on all of my vehicles and how they've looked from the Miata to the Lexus to the FJ. The GX is kind of turning out to be a, a good looking vehicle. My current Miata, I get compliments on the, all the time, which I think it's because it's an old piece of crap Miata that doesn't look terrible. So it's like, oh, this is a relatable car that looks fun to drive. I think that's why I get compliments. I'm going to clean up these spots Got one here that's pretty heavy. You got one down here that's kind of heavy. We got this one up here. I'm gonna clean up these spots. We're gonna spray the black, and then tomorrow we'll get ready to do the last coat thingy. <sighs> Tell you what, this is a terrible color. So here it is right here. Well, that's a terrible shot. <clears throat> terrible angle. Can you see this? Can't really see. It. Can you see this one? Can't really. You can't really see that either. Like I said, you can't really see it on camera. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on this because the color we chose also doesn't reflect shadow a whole lot, but it's just my own sake of mental willingness. I'm sure there's a proper word for that, but I'm just gonna try to sand this up and clean it up a little bit. If it doesn't work and it takes too long, then I won't do it. So here we go. I got some 220. I got a little scotch pad. It's still kind of soft. That's appropriate, that's fair. It's an appropriate amount. Yesterday the gun jammed up a couple times. It jammed up, it like clogged up, I guess is the proper term. So there's some spots on that splatters. I said, I'm not too concerned about it, just, but I'd rather try to clean them off than leave them. However, in some spots I feel like I'm making it worse. So I might just call it and let it be as a learning experience. I think I got runs because I just couldn't, con I wasn't sure how close and how far to use the gun. And you're supposed to use like 30 millimeters or 30 centimeters, which is about a, a foot away. And I was probably a foot and a half, two feet away spraying. So when I do the black, I'm gonna focus on distance and, clean, and more consistent lines this time. So yeah, we're just gonna live and learn on this one. So everything's sanded that I wanna get sanded that I think is an appropriate amount of time spent on cleaning it up. So we're doing black on some spots. This whole area is gonna be black and then paints a rest and we have a little bit of black trim. The black and the color we're doing, which I kinda of feel like I should keep it a surprise. I kinda of just want I kinda of just wanna tell you guys but we'll just keep it a surprise for like maybe the next video, I guess. The black and the color we're gonna do are contrasting. They're very different. Uh, I think I should do the black first. That way I don't have to tape off as much. And then I'll tape off the black because it's a smaller amount. And then I'll do the color we're gonna do. And in the spots that are a little more complex to 
spray because of overspray and stuff, which our sprayers didn't have terrible overspray, but the spots that are a little more complex, I'll probably just paint with a roller or a brush, you know, save time and efficiency. And it's, I'm talking about like this top strip. So I think we're ready to paint the black. Two gallons. Right now, I only have to do I have to do half a bus. And it says if because you're using an airless, you don't have to dilute it, like thin it out. I'm gonna trust these fellers and uh, not. Take a quick, terrible photo. Yesterday, I didn't have goggles. I got crud all over my glasses. I bought goggles today. And I basically had to wash my arms with the scotch pad because all the paint that was on there. So, uh, got a cheap shirt to do too. Thanks, Goodwill. Gotta look good for my wife. I'm not a complete and all embarrassment because we have a high school reunion this year, this weekend, and we're gonna tell everybody that we're living in a school bus. Like some darn hippies. Here we go. All right, so I uh, put the camera away so I could focus on what I was doing because this paint sprayed entirely different than the primer I did yesterday, and I'm not happy with it. I'm not happy at all, actually. It didn't turn out in any way, shape, or form like I wanted it to. I mean, quite, quite frankly, I think it looks terrible. But uh, yeah, so tomorrow, once it dries, I think I'm gonna try to sand off all the runs, and uh, I'm gonna focus tonight on trying to understand how to thin paint properly. Tomorrow's video will be me touching up and sanding all this freaking crap, fixing all these runs. Hopefully it cures in time. I don't know if it will because it's so freaking hot and humid in Tennessee. Man, I'm just bummed. I'm just bummed actually. The black looks cool and it looks good from like 15 feet away. I mean, you guys can't really tell on the camera. But in person, like that is just unacceptable in my opinion. I'm disappointed in myself. You know what's funny? Because I hate painting. I absolutely hate painting. But when it came to painting the inside, I didn't paint because I, I don't have the patience, I don't have the time, I don't have the go get them with painting. I just want to get it done. I was actually, I was trying on this. Like, that's not what I'm headed at. Like, I was trying on this paint job, but I'm just not a good painter. So, all right. Well, sorry it didn't end on a super happy note, but uh, tomorrow I'm gonna try to fix it. I'm sure I can fix it. Like, if I've learned anything with this build, any mistakes you have, you can fix over time. So, yeah. Bumper looks good. Front door looks nice. Like this side, this side is a lot better, but I still have these. So this side's a lot better, but for now, thank you guys so much for watching and following along. We've got uh, a lot, we've got a lot going on, and we're like at the end. We're at like this is like I've got to paint the, I've got to paint the color that we're doing, and that's kind of it. So I'm gonna be super bored. So make sure you guys comment and like these videos. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Like it if you like it, dislike it if you don't like it, and if you could subscribe, we'd really, really appreciate it.